out on the Triumph new Speed 400. Single cylinder 400 from Triumph at a price just under $5,000. That's ridiculous, man. The hazard lights are on. Well, let's get this thing on the road. Little bikes are fun bikes. I mean, the big bikes are fun and smooth, but little bikes are fun and peppy. My gosh, Triumph makes great seats. This is super comfortable. <laughs> On paper, this may be like one of the best beginner bikes, budget friendly. I mean, it's ridiculous. You get a 400cc bike, you get Triumph build quality, and it's for under $5,000. Well, I mean, there's taxes and stuff, so. But the great thing about this bike is it doesn't feel small. It's a small displacement, but it's not a small bike. Being that this is a $5,000 bike, there's going to be places where it's not going to be the top of the line gear, and that's okay. So just because it's Triumph doesn't mean it's going to be the best, but Triumph is doing good stuff. It's becoming more affordable. Triumph used to be kind of perceived, at least, as a very premium brand, and I think it still can be. Oh, the blinker's just got the one light that just says a blinker is on, but it doesn't tell you which one. Woo! So a single cylinder here, I'm going mid-50s and top gear, and it it's still a very comfortable, smooth ride. Typically with smaller bikes and with a single cylinder, you start to feel vibey at highway speeds. Now you wouldn't want to take this on the highway for any extended period of time, but this is handling it great. Like, I mean, this would be perfect to learn on. This may be the best value beginner bike out there right now. Yeah, I don't feel cramped at all and I'm six foot two. Oh my gosh, super nimble. I love how Triumph does their demo rides. There's like, here's the bike, go have fun. Yes, I like this one. I like them all. It says 79 miles per gallon. <laughs> wow. You're going to save a few bucks on this on the MSRP and at the pump. Nice. So let's go ahead and put the official stats here up on the screen so you can see what we're working with with this bike. Yeah, yeah, very basic. Like there's not any features with this. Again, you're not going to get it at that price point. But it is horn blinkers, start stop. Uh, then you have your bright light here, and then I get here's the info button. I guess that'll change what's there. 200 odometer. Oh, that's that's a range maybe. Oh, there's the odometer. Trip meters. Miles per gallon. 60. I wonder if that's the instant. So it cycles through just a few little metrics. Nothing nothing major. But you do have a fuel gauge. You do have a gear indicator, which is great on a very beginner bike. My goodness, this is lightweight. Ever since I saw this bike at the British Invasion Tour, or actually even when it was announced, I was like, that'll be interesting, especially uh, when we find out what it's priced at. But I saw it at the British Invasion Tour here in Atlanta a few months ago when they unveiled it, and I was impressed by just the form factor of it. That it's a small bike but it doesn't feel small it doesn't look small you look at this from farther away you're not going to be able to tell that it's a single cylinder beginner bike or whatever it looks the part of a real big motorcycle and i think that's great Woo! <laughs> hey 
say this is a bike that when it's operating within its realm that it's supposed to you're, you're not going to feel any drop off and what i mean by that is like don't take it out on the interstate and expect it to perform it won't but you can't expect it to perform on back roads like this and even so up at 60 miles an hour here which is probably you don't want to go any faster than that on these roads it doesn't feel like it's lacking up to that point if that makes sense so it does what it's designed to do very well good job triumph it's so easy to maneuver like this would be great to take up in the twisties just to see how it does I mean, I know I've said this before and I said it a whole lot on the Tiger 1200 last year, but dang, this seat is comfortable. Like Triumph just takes care of your butt. <laughs> yeah. Pretty strong engine braking. The clutch engagement is way out there. Yeah, I think Triumph definitely hit a home run with his Speed 400. Introducing something to get people into the Triumph brand at the beginner level. Before the Speed 400, Triumph didn't really have anything that was terribly beginner friendly. And I think it probably intimidated a lot of people. And also, you know, they made more premium bikes, which cost more. And so people weren't starting out in the Triumph brand. So I think this is a bike. They're not going to make a lot of money off this bike at all. You know, make a few bucks, but it's getting them into the Triumph family. So it's a great marketing move. But more importantly, it's a great option. It's another option to get riders into motorcycling. So if you're looking into it, I mean, this is definitely one to check out. The styling, classic styling of Triumphs very approachable it's an engine that's not going to get you in trouble but it's very capable to handle everything it's designed to do like I said before you're not going to take this on long road trips on the interstate but for going around town going up in the mountains having a good time commuting to work man this checks all those boxes I mean <laughs> this is great Oh, a little thumper just thumping away. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, that clutch engagement is way out there. Uh, just remind, I'd spend a lot more time tweaking that, but not bad. You adapt and you go. <laughs> oh, great job, Triumph. A plus. Hey, thanks for checking out the channel. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing. Also check out some of my other demo rides. Impressive machine. Again, as I just, I think this is like a superb offering from Triumph to nudge in and, you know, in the likes of the Z400, the CB300, CB500, 